So yesterday, understandably, there was a lot of discussion around the eldest son of Donald Trump, Don Trump Jr., because we all talked about the text messages that he was sending to Trump's people trying to get Trump to calm down, trying to get Trump to get his people to calm down. But there wasn't much discussion about Ivanka Trump until now. Last night, one little bit of information came out and it absolutely opened the floodgates on a new call to get Ivanka Trump to testify against her daddy. And mark my words, it is now inevitable given what we know from one of Trump's top allies in the Senate. So notes here that the Senator Lindsey Graham told CNN's Manu Raju that he asked former President Donald Trump's eldest daughter, then a senior White House advisor, to deliver a message to her father as his supporters violently stormed the U.S. Capitol as Congress was set to certify Joe Biden's election win. Quote, Senator Lindsey Graham said he didn't text with Mark Meadows on J6, but he told me he spoke with Ivanka Trump to deliver a message to her dad. He said he wanted then President Trump to, quote, tell his people to leave. And this is the worst piece of news Ivanka Trump could have gotten because now the target is squarely on her because everyone was talking about Mark Meadows supposedly as the only vector to Donald Trump on that day. Everything was about how it was flowing through Meadows. It was the Trump's own son, other senators, Fox News people, people in the House. Everyone was trying to get to Donald and they were using his chief of staff to try and do it. But now we know that at least one top senator who, again, Lindsey Graham, very close to Donald Trump, one of Donald Trump's friends in the Senate, was trying to get to Trump through Ivanka, and I guarantee you he is not the only one. So what's going to happen now is Ivanka is going to get the Mark Meadows treatment, and it's going to happen imminently. She is going to be asked to do what he's been asked to do, and she's going to have to make a choice about whether or not she's willing to risk charges and jail time. I don't think fancy Ivanka Trump, who's used to the absolute pinnacle of luxury, even in relation to other rich people, will tolerate even one minute in a jail cell. So she's going to be given an impossible choice. If she doesn't participate, she's going to get locked up. She's going to go through the same process that Meadows and Bannon and are going through right now. But if she does participate, she's still in a really tough position because if she sells her dad out to protect herself, which maybe she'll do, it absolutely destroys any future she has in politics and destroys her family relationships even more than they've already been wrecked. But if she tries to protect her dad, all she's going to do is put herself at risk to put more credence to the fact that she, as a central White House advisor, was playing a direct role in encouraging or maybe simply just tolerating what Donald Trump did, which could put her at a massive legal and, you know, personal amount of peril because she's got much more riskier than Don Trump Jr. What we hear right now is that Donald Trump Jr. wasn't in the White House. He gave a speech that day, but we know that he did not have access to the central command. He didn't because if he did, he wouldn't have had to text Meadows to ask his dad to stop. Ivanka did have that direct line to her father and he didn't do anything. Maybe it's her fault. Maybe it isn't, but she's going to be asked to talk about it and that terrifies her.